School has finished for the summer. So Ahmed and me, we thought we'd make some money. <laughs> and there are plenty of tourists want someone to show them around. Best place is one of the hotels near the old city. So it's walking distance. You hang around and when they come out, you pitch it to them. We'll show you Marrakesh. No, no guides. We've been round the souks once. Is there a shop that sells bottled water near here? Cheers. I called for Ahmed. It's for Sakars Malik. How long were we there yesterday? How much did we get? Zilch. Same as the day before and the day before that. You go if you want to. I wasn't sure about doing this on my own. At the Tazi, there were two official guides in their white jalabis and their faces. And that big red enamel badge, they all wear like the king had given it to them. That was a no-no then. So I went and stood under a tree by the al Moravids. Two couples came out and one of the men came over. I can sh show you around, sure. I know the old city, all the places you want to see, the best shops. Okay, no shops. I'll take you where you want to go. Sure, I will keep you other people away. No one will bother you. We agreed the price, and it'll make up for the other days. My man said he lived here a while back. I didn't really believe him, and then as we were on our way to the old palace, he suddenly took a turning and went to the tombs. Then he knew where the tinsmiths were. Next he said we were going to the Jewish cemetery. No, I'm not Jewish. My friend here comes from Prague, where there's a famous Jewish cemetery. She wants to see this one. I told him it was alright they were Jewish, and he still said they weren't. Pity, I wanted to ask him things. Here I am waiting for them by the gate. And oh no, not them. Kamal and Aziz. What's this uh, s scrap of shit doing here? Pretending to be a guide? That's our thing. You aren't old enough. Scram! Do you hear me? My people are coming out. Next we're going to the museum, and Kamal has gone straight up to my man. No thank you, I don't want a guide. I don't need one. How come? I lived here, that's why. You're not official. The boy's with us. Leave him alone. Goodbye. You don't get rid of them that easily. We stop at the spy shop with Kamal and Aziz just behind us all the time. Now, I'm guessing that when I pay you, those two are going to take the money off you, right? Well, here's what we'll do. I'll pay you in a moment when we're sure they can't see and you'll have to hide the money. Then at the end, I'll give you a couple of coins. You have to act angry. Say I promised more, okay? How did he know? I was hoping I'd get some of it. Now I have the bills in a hidden pocket Mama made. Will I keep them? Kamel and Aziz are making gestures to scare me. My people are, have been ar around the museum and we are walking to the square. Kamel and Aziz are right behind. They know it is pay off time. He has given me two coins. I hold them like they are filth. I feel bad, but I, I have to do this. I have to fool these two. Everyone is watching. You stinking, slimy foreign smear. You're shittier than shit. <sighs> you promised that leaving me was nothing. You steal from us, you sons of whores. Yes, you women too. My mom will curse you good. And you'll all get really sick. Go back with your pigs. My man waves at the others who look shocked. And they go. Kamal and Aziz come over. I rub my eyes. Look at mommy's little boy. You should have left them to us. Think we'd let them do that to us? No way. Pick up your change, kid. 
I do. And turn on, run. They're calling me names. I run inside. I am laughing. <laughs> Hear this, Ahmed. 